My position is clear and unambiguous. President Muhammad Buhari has done his best. He has freed this country from years of larceny and theft, and there is a need for him to withdraw and simply anoint somebody who believes, whom he believes, that shares his ideas, his ideals, his views, and who can carry Nigeria to the next state. The endless bloodletting in this country, the violence, the kidnappings, and the mass killings are basic issues. And also, Nigerians have never been more divided. So quite sincerely, uh, I think we have to applaud uh, Chief Obasanjo uh, for his intervention. I think it's the most interesting story uh, in the country since the beginning of this year. Buhari is best advised not to have a second bite of the apple. Young people are asking for a young president. The sort of thing that you saw George Ware, who upon being sworn in, within a few hours, he had announced his cabinet. Uh, General Bassinger is merely articulating what many of the friends of President Buhari ought to have been telling him. Unfortunately, many of those people are self-seekers, self-servers, and self-opinionated people. Good morning, Fola. Um, I'm so disappointed listening to Alagi this morning. He's one of our best, uh, um, one, of, one, of our, one of our best uh, people in the house there. You see, you cannot defend, you cannot defend what is not right. I mean, look at the content from the Chief Obasanjo. Can you dispute any of those points in there? These are facts. I'm a member of APC, you know, local level, national level, and international level. We supported him right from the scratch. You cannot defend this. He has everything on the table, things to work with. He, he chose to go on the wrong way. It's totally un unacceptable. We have to move on from here because we are going to share all these blames. All these blames comes to all of us. You know, we, we, we are part of this because we put him in there. Now, my general uh, statement on that letter is that largely it is a collation of the angst of the Nigerian people. Uh, it's a collision of our collective disappointment for those who had high hopes. Uh, it's actually a reflection of the frustration of Nigerians with this administration. There is hardly a single word, even comma, in that letter that is not the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. If you say Jonathan's PDP was frying pan, then Buhari's APC is fire. This president does not seem to know or understand Nigeria, does not seem to care about the suffering of people, and has no clue at all about managing the economy. And if I were to stand in front of him as a, a fellow citizen, a man of my, who belongs to my generation, I would say, brother, you can't do this job. I would say to him, my, but, but dear, professor. my dear brother, you cannot do this job. You have no idea how to do it. You had, our country is perishing under you. I would advise that you resign. Professor, not you... even talk about uh, standing election in, 19, uh, in 2019, no. You think he should not stand elect for a re-election? I think he should resign right now. Well, I came away very proud of uh, Chief Dr. Basanjo for having played the role of a statesman. More critically, he was a, a very strong supporter of uh, General Buhari for the 2015 election. So his assessment uh, comes up... Uh, very strong and uh, a little bit more acceptable than our, our position.